Have a lot of people actually gone back to the office since COVID? Because I read a Forbes article from July of this year that only 18% of Fortune 500 companies require full time in office work. I mean, I know that's only 500 companies, but even the people around me that work in an office setting, I know most of them still work from home. And that includes myself. So I think it's a bit weird that we don't really talk about work from home outfits all that much. I tried to look up some content for inspiration, and I found quite a bit from years ago when we were all in lockdown mode, but not as much recent content as I thought. Does that just mean we're all too comfortable working in our sweats and PJs? I mean, I get it. I've definitely been stuck in that mode for years, but recently I've started to feel a bit sick and tired of being in my sweats all day, every day. So these days, I really try to put in the effort to get dressed with more intention. So I thought it would be a fun video idea to document what I wore all week working from home. So this is the first outfit. I've actually used this outfit in one of my previous videos on styling items that I never wear. And yeah, I'm wearing these olive green trousers with an oversized scoop neck t-shirt. This t-shirt is my favorite t-shirt of all times. I've had it for almost 10 years. I got it when I was in San Francisco and I was traveling there in 2015. And I remember this t-shirt was on sale, but it was still like 40 US dollars. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm spending $40, like US dollars on a t-shirt. But it's obviously proved to be worthwhile because I've had it for 10 years. And then I'm wearing this minimal style of necklace from Koss. Uh, I got this from Poshmark a few weeks ago and yeah, it's been a really versatile item in my closet. It pretty much goes with any outfit, but it is starting to tarnish a bit. The thing about these trousers is I really don't like this pleats area because they look so bulky. So that's why I'm wearing this long t-shirt on top. And they are a little bit long, like they'll drag a bit when I walk. So they're really only good for non-rainy days in Vancouver. It has definitely been raining a little bit more here. So I'm just trying to get the most wear out of them while I can. So yeah, just a simple outfit to start off the week. This is such an easy outfit to just throw on an overshirt or a jacket on top. So it's been a very versatile outfit for me as long as it's not raining. I'll be honest, the main reason why things like rain matters to me is because I have to walk my dog every day. But being such a homebody, I'd probably not leave my house all day if it wasn't for my dog. These days, I've been trying to get more steps in though, and it's definitely not as fun on rainy days, but I'm trying my best to be as consistent as possible. When I first started working from home in 2019, I was always in sweats, and some days I never even got out of my PJs. And that felt good for a while, but I noticed that I really started to lose touch with my sense of style. And this was so evident in my earlier styling videos. I kind of surprised myself that my style has become so bland. And I think it was because I wasn't actually putting outfits together for myself, but I was just browsing through inspo pics, looking up color theory and body typing systems and trying to gain all this knowledge around improving my style, but not really applying any of that knowledge to practice. So this is also why I've been making more of an effort these days because I realized that practice is key to maintaining a good sense of style. And I'm definitely starting to feel more and more like myself with more practice. And this feeling just proves to me that having a sense of style that feels authentic to me really does require continuous work. Alrighty, second outfit of the week is this all black combo. I'm wearing these black stretchy pants today because I'm going to a dance class later this evening and I just want to minimize changing as much as possible. I just feel like once there's more changing involved then it starts to feel more like a chore and a task that I need to get done and I'm honestly convinced, at least for myself, that the worst part of going to the gym or exercising is the getting ready part. And now that I've found an exercise that I actually really, really enjoy, I just kind of want to minimize that feeling of a burden or a task that needs to get done. These pants are from a brand called Oak and Fort. They're a Vancouver-based brand. And I know they design their own stuff now, but they used to bring some stuff over from Korea. And I don't know if that's the reason why, but their pants always just fit me so well. And I love the minimalist aesthetic of the brand and all that, but quality-wise, they are not the best. Like these pants are already kind of falling apart, like they're stretched out and fading. And I've just been trying to stay away from fast fashion brands in general. So I haven't been shopping there as often as I used to, but 
a lot of what I own in my closet are still from Oak and Fort. And I've decided to pair the pants with a bit of a dressier top just because the pants are so comfortable. They can come across as a little bit sloppy. So yeah, it's to fit. I will probably need to change the top for later, but it's all right. And I'm just wearing clocks today. Where do you start when you're putting an outfit together? I always start with picking out the bottoms and it's been working pretty well for me. I've heard choosing the shoes first is also a good way because shoes play such a big role in the overall vibe of the outfit. My logic for choosing bottoms first is that they cover the largest surface area. So once I know which bottoms I'm wearing for the day, it makes it easy to narrow down my color palette or I could even try to offset or balance my outfit with my top or my accessories. But it also really depends on what I'm doing. I try to avoid changing as much as possible throughout the day. So my outfits need to be versatile for everything on my to-do list for the entire day. But sometimes changing is just unavoidable. I guess practicality does trump all at the end of the day. But I just want to stay stylish no matter what I'm doing. I do find it to be a challenge though. Alright, so today's goal is to... Try to build the outfit starting with the shoes. And it's raining today, so I'm probably not gonna do a lot of walking, but still have some errands to run. So, really no suede. Uh, maybe I'll do these. So, let's see what this. Okay, so here's what I put together. I'm wearing these green pleated pants to match the green on the sneakers. I got these pants from Facebook Marketplace for like $10. I honestly freaking love Facebook Marketplace for secondhand clothes shopping. I mean, the owners get a lot more money than if they were to take them to an actual thrift store and then you as a buyer end up paying a lot less as well. So it's just like a win-win situation. And then I'm wearing this black sweatshirt on top, which I think looks nice has talking about color analysis extensively on my channel, stop me from wearing black. Clearly not. I love black. It's my favorite color when it comes to clothes and more than half my closet is filled with black stuff. So I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. It's just too practical for me. I don't care what my color season is. I'm still wearing black. And then I'm wearing this necklace again that I wore from a couple of days ago. My hair, I think is looking a little messy today. So I might put it up. Okay, so that's the hair for the day. I think it looks good with the outfit. Oh, hold on, let me back up a bit so you can see my shoes. So yeah, this is the fit of the day. And if it does continue to rain throughout the day, for my errands later, I'll probably wear this bag so it doesn't get wet. Or if by chance it does stop raining, which I don't think will happen, I'll probably wear this. It's a little Christmassy, a bit of a dark and depressing Christmas. All right, so I'm obviously not gonna be wearing these shoes inside the house because I'm Asian and we don't do that in the house. But I got my shoes ready. I got my bag options ready. So I'm good for the day. So yeah, that was a fun little exercise to start with the shoes. I never really do that, but it was actually quite easy to pick out the color from the shoes and then build the outfit from there. Yeah, that was fun. If any of you are wondering why I stack my shoes like that, it's because I set limited space for myself so I don't buy more shoes. It's the same thing with bags. I allotted one shelf dedicated to bags so I don't make any more unnecessary purchases. So I'm just rotating between bags depending on my outfit and each of them are slightly different in style and obviously in their colors. And this has been a good way for me to balance novelty and practicality. I'm trying to live a minimalist life, but I also want more variety. And it's always a bit of a dilemma, especially if you're into fashion and style. I'm just trying to find my equilibrium for the right amount of clothes where I'm not overwhelmed by them, but I'm also not bored or my outfits don't feel too repetitive. I've been trying to incorporate the one in one out mindset. So if I'm buying something new, then I need to be getting rid of something. And it helps me get creative. Like if I choose to get rid of something, I think more about why I decided to buy it in the first place. Was it the color that I really liked? Do I like the fit of the garment? Does the material feel really nice? And it leads me to think about what I can do to save the item rather than getting rid of it to fill that space with something new that's gonna feel like something old very quickly. It's just a way for me to check myself before I spend more money on things I probably don't need. Good morning. 
All right, this is what the fourth outfit of the week that I'm documenting. So today I'm wearing these baggy jeans from Everlane. I would say they're about a size and a half bigger than my usual size right now because I'm a little bit in between sizes at the moment. So they're very baggy and very comfortable to sit at my desk all day and work. But since the jeans are very baggy, I decided to balance that out a bit with a tighter tank top. And since I'm going color on color today, I finished the look with this simple black overshirt on top. So yeah, just a very simple outfit, nothing crazy as usual. The forecast said it was gonna rain today, but I haven't seen rain since last night. Maybe it rained throughout the night while I was sleeping, I'm not sure. But it looks like the sun is about to come out, so I have no idea what's happening with the weather today. If it does end up staying dry, I'll probably just stick to wearing these clogs. I wore these earlier on my walk with my dog and that was fine. But if it does end up raining, I'll switch over to these sneakers. I will have to change later today because I'm going to this puppy yoga thing with my friends. I know I said I don't like changing throughout the day, but I also don't want to wear leggings all day, so it's a compromise. I also styled my hair a little bit differently today. I've been enjoying styling my hair with these kind of crazy waves these days. It does look a little too crazy right now because they're pretty fresh, but they will become more tame throughout the day and throughout the next few days. And yeah, I quite like the free-spirited vibe of this look, it looks undone, but also carefree. And it looks like I'm letting go of control a bit, which is something that I've definitely been trying to practice more. I don't know if it's just my algorithm, but a lot of the content that I watch always tells me to let go. And I talked about this a little bit in my effortlessly chic style video, that being effortless is more of a state of mind that we want to reach rather than an aesthetic. And to be honest, I'm not really sure what that means 100%. I'm still trying to figure it out. My stance on making sense of life so far has been about trying to come up with a set of rules to guide me through it. I know that's a very INTJ way of my thinking. But all of this endless planning and rules and discipline can feel so exhausting. And sometimes it makes me upset to see people who are the complete opposite. And it makes me wonder if I'm just wasting my energy. I know that in the end, it's all about finding that balance, but let's be real, it's much easier in theory than in practice. I just hope I figure it out one day. Happy Friday. Oh, I am so tired from those couple of drinks I had last night after puppy yoga. I think I'm just at that age where even one or two drinks just gets me so tired for at least the first half of the next day. So maybe it's just time for me to stop drinking altogether. It's probably a good idea. Anyways, I've decided to go with a monochromatic look today. So I'm wearing these gray jeans and they are 100% cotton, which I generally don't like wearing when I'm working or when I'm sitting down a lot but these are an exception because there's two ways to wear these jeans. Let me show you. So right now I'm just wearing them high-waisted like this, but there's another set of buttons here that I can actually use to make the pants a lower rise, like that. Now there's a little bit more room, the jeans become low rise, and I really don't mind wearing these for this reason, even though they don't have any stretch in them. And then for the top, I'm just wearing this black simple long sleeve with the same necklace that I wore twice this week. I really think I need another necklace. I mean, this is great and it goes with everything, but I feel like I just need a little bit more variety. And this shirt has holes in it and the weather is turning out to be really nice and sunny today but these days it is always a little colder than anticipated when I actually step out so I'll probably need to throw on a jacket on top later. I think we're gonna try to go out in the evening and enjoy the sun a little bit while it lasts so. So yeah this is the look of the day. I've been really enjoying monochromatic and loose outfits like this I think they're super comfortable and chic, but my husband tells me that I dress like a little boy, so he clearly knows what he doesn't like. These days though, I've been asking for his opinions more because they're simple. There's no overthinking involved. Either he likes it or he doesn't like it. And that's the way everyone else feels about my style anyways. Like I'm the only person overthinking my style and I know that. So I've been appreciating the simplicity of his opinions these days. So like most content creators, I jot down my video ideas as they come to mind. And some of these ideas, I have to say, they're 
so random, and I just wonder if anyone would be interested in these topics at all. Oh yeah, did I mention that I'm an overthinker? But the real reason why these ideas don't get transformed into actual content is because I feel pressured to provide value, and my content so far has been almost purely information-based. So I'm always thinking. Me talking about my random thoughts is not really providing value to my viewers. It's like sharing knowledge and information is the only way I can feel confident about what I put out there. But I'm starting to realize that content creation is more than about information. It's about sharing myself, like I am the brand. But I hope you like this different style of video and me sharing a bit of my week with you. With more practice and time, I think I'll get better at this. So I'll see you in my next video, and until then, stay unique and stay gorgeous.